Well, we have a huge event coming up in August with our trip to Italy. And, uh, you know, it's for me, it's a win-win situation. Uh, with a young group where we're going to have uh, six guys uh, in uniform who didn't play for us last year, uh, it gives us an opportunity to get a head start from a basketball perspective. We're allowed 10 practices. Uh, and then we'll play four games while we're in Italy. So from a basketball standpoint, uh, it's very exciting and it's a win. But also, you know, we have an opportunity to give our players and our program a life experience that they'll always remember. Uh, some of our guys have never been outside of the country and to be able to go to Italy with all the history, uh, the great places to see, uh, the bonding experiences, um, it, it really sets up for a lifetime memory and so you combine the basketball piece and you combine the personal aspect um, we couldn't be more excited for it. When you go I think is dependent on where your roster is at. I think sometimes with an older team you have to be careful how much you're doing especially if it's a team that's won and has winning experiences because the season can be long but for a team like ours where we're going to be relying on a lot of young players uh, to play key roles, uh, the head start, I think, can be very beneficial. And um, when we have these types of situations with a young team and the opportunity to do the summer tour, I think it makes a lot of sense. We're going to try to start to develop the habits of how we want to play, uh, both offensively and defensively. And with the young team, um, you, know, you, don't, you can never predict how soon they'll pick it up. Um, you know, we won't have our full system in in 10 days of practice and four games in Italy. Uh, but we should have a foundation with which we can build off of as the regular school year approaches.